Today we're asking, what units are used to measure electricity? There are four units used to measure electricity. Ohms measures resistance. Volts measures voltage. Amps measures current. And watts measures power. What does that really mean when it comes to a circuit? Each of these four units have been named to honor a scientist influential in understanding electricity. Electricity isn't something that humans really created. God created it in the beginning. Living things around us use electricity all the time. In fact, scientists used to believe that living things were the only way electricity could be produced or used. It wasn't until Volta came along and developed the first battery that we really got to harness that electrical power and understand that it wasn't about a living life force or something magical within a living organism. It's still miraculous, but it's about chemicals and how they interact to push electricity through circuits. At a basic level, it's electrons moving from atom to atom through a conductor to complete a circuit. So they're being pushed along by the previous electrons. We can harness that power by forcing those electrons through a load, like through a light bulb or something else. In some cases, it means increasing the resistance to do something, like lighting up a room. Alessandro Volta is the one credited with creation of the first batteries. As a result, volts are named after him. Volts are the power used on the front end to push electrons through a circuit. Ohms are used to measure resistance, and we can put that resistance to good use. Right here I have steel wool and a 9 volt battery. When I push this 9 volt battery against the steel wool, it's going to start burning up the steel wool fibers. It does that because there's too much resistance. The little wires in the steel wool are too small, they're too fine, and there's too much power trying to pass through them. So, let's take a look at resistance. As these little wires are burning up, it's very similar to how an incandescent light bulb works. But in a light bulb, there's a gas that keeps the wires from burning up completely so they glow. Resistance in an electrical circuit can also be illustrated with a hose in water. If you have a smaller hose, then fewer water molecules can pass through per second. In a similar way, if you have a smaller wire, fewer electrons can pass through per second. You can see this when you touch a 9 volt to the steel wall and it shorts out and starts burning. It shorted out in the beginning because the wires were so small there was too much power trying to pass through too quickly. Amps, which is sometimes represented with an uppercase I for intensity, is a measure of the current, how many electrons pass through a given point in a circuit within a second. Watts is another measurement. It's really a measure of power. How much work can be done with the electricity? Thanks for joining me as we reviewed how electricity is measured. I'll see you next time on Science Foundations. In addition to these short videos, we're releasing full lab videos online. They're available by subscription at awesomesci.tv.com. I hope to see you there.